this this trout hunter thing right here. Registration opens in that that amount of time. Oh, but it's seven, seven. That's not today. That's tomorrow. Interesting. Okay, so I, I have time to prepare for that then. Good. Okay. I mean, the rewards are pretty good. Tackle types. Jig heads and soft baits. Fish nets. Stringer. Catch them ashore. All right, let's get let's get some fishing in, guys. Let me go show you a few spots. And uh, these are not spots. I will say right now, the ones I'll be showing you at this moment are not ones that um, I figured out on my own. I have one spot I found on my own that I like, and I did catch a unique rainbow there, and I'll show you guys that. Um, but I want to give a shout out to two of the channels that I have been kind of going back and forth to on YouTube. Uh, trying to learn as much as I can about this game and get some tips and tricks and stuff. Uh, Charles Macro and Zabby on YouTube. Both of those YouTube channels, excellent for this game. And uh, Charles Macro had suggested, I believe, this spot right here. I think it's this one. Let's take a quick look. Uh, yep, sure enough, this spot right here. Two best spots that you can fish at this location is straight out to that gray rock and then just out from that little rock and those the roots and trees right over there. Two good spots. And um, I have caught a lot of fish following that advice. And I believe it was uh, Zabby and there was a, a couple other YouTubers too that suggested using the mayflies uh, if you're going to go with the bobber setup. Uh, so at this point, I just switched to doing the professional uh, setup for the uh, the meters. I just I just switched the professional setup for the meters. Uh, I thought that would be an interesting thing to have up, so we can see what's being stressed the most. Because I think that'll help in the end for min maxing a setup. I haven't had an issue yet. I've, I've caught several uniques. Uh, I think at least one unique on each one of the pulls that I will be showing you. Uh, today I've got this set up and then I have my casting set up. And I've been experimenting um, with the lures for the casting one. And I, I found a few things that I like and then a few things that were suggested by the, by the YouTubers as well. All right, let's see if we can get some. I tried, um, I tried other baits. I tried other of the uh, the fresh baits, and like grasshoppers, I was getting more of the cutthroat trout, and also, um, they they were smaller in general. I was generally getting like a, like a young brown trout. I think I got a young one, and obviously not not what we're after at this stage. You want you want the full size brown trout if not the trophies and the uniques. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe not in that spot right now. Oh. Something might have just nudged it. No, let's try, let's try out from the uh, the logs over there. Supposedly we are in, like the absolute peak at the moment. I looked at the time chart and we were looking real good. There's another spot too. Um, a lot of people. I'm gonna say right now, a lot of people have spent time doing videos. And giving tips and tricks uh, for Falcon Lake. There's a ton out there. So if you're having issues um, with Falcon Lake, 
There's there's plenty of YouTubers that can help. Uh, but you don't really need too advanced of a setup here to do good. So now what I what I eventually would like to have set up, and I I'm going to get it set up at some point. I'll, I'll invest in the the credits in it, is uh, to get a rod holder, and uh, be able to do a multiple pull setup, so that we can just keep pulling things in. We don't have to wait wait so long to get a, a bite on any one pull. I'll be honest, um, like during the peak of the time that I've tried it before when it's when it's also been high more during the day um I had that bobber going under like every 15 seconds what that was a hit that was definitely a hit Come on. Come on. We had that one bite and that was it. we've waited long enough we're gonna have to go to our uh, our lure setup all right and it, it was Charles macro that um, advised for the uh, the spinners although both him and Zabby had mentioned that the majority of the spoons and everything else would work as well he liked the spinners um, I like some of the spoons. I have had a lot of good luck with the bigger, bigger fish on the spoons. That, ah. oh. There we go. All right, now we got something. All right, so we got a little smallmouth bass. So see what I mean about variety? That was the issue that I had with the spinner. I felt like, and we'll see if I get more of them, I felt like uh, the ratio of smallmouth bass to trout um, was much higher, getting, getting much more in the way of bass. Now this um, reeling technique was also suggested, and... I don't know if it's so much as uh, attracting the fish more as it is just keeping a good tempo to be able to keep it mid-water. And then the other thing that I found out about the trout, um, when they bite, a lot of times they don't bite bite too much. You kind of want to set that hook as quick as you can. And uh, I, yeah, there we go. See, like, I think at, if you're, you're set, essentially setting the hook every time you're doing that anyways, and if they bite it, then you're already naturally setting that hook. All right, so that's a full-size cutthroat trout. I swear to God, I hit level 23 last night. Interesting.
Just got done on the second day of work and you feel exhausted. Flip flop. How you how you liking your job, man? Man, see they're hitting. Now they're hitting. All right, so the uh, the float setup's not doing great at night, at least not right now. We are having a lot better luck like this. Boy, look at that! Do you see the pull? Woo! Oh, this is a much got to be a much bigger fish. So it's the pull there that's having the issues, actually. Oh! Look at it go. This has to be at least a trophy, if not a unique. I'm calling right now it's going to be a trophy. I haven't seen the fish clearly yet. I'll be able to get a feel as to what it is. Oh, oh that looked like a bass. I'll be honest, that kind of looked like a bass. Now, it's either that or it's a rainbow trout, because rainbow trout are, are bigger and, and more silverish colored. The brown trout, you can easily see their copper color out there. Nice, man. Well, sounds like you got a good setup. That's a trout. There it comes. Trophy brown trout. All right, so it was a brown trout. See, that? that's a good fish right there. So 221 XP, that's solid XP gain. 474 cash. We're looking real good with that. So, so far today, that is a smallmouth. Uh, it's a cutthroat trout. And then a trophy brown trout we've already hit on this lure. And we got another one on. A solid spot right now. This is a real solid spot. Yeah, flip flop. I've been having a ton of fun uh, with the trout fishing. I've been getting into this a little bit more than the walleye. The walleye was was starting to get old. Ah, uh, see, we got another smallmouth here. See the the problem with the smallmouth is the XP that you get for each one. And I got the double down arrow, which means that uh, it's. It's too powerful of a setup to catch them. But I, I can't I can't uh, really control what gets on the hook, obviously. So, As you saw, I did catch the trophy brown trout on this lure. So it's it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a hit or miss. I think that was four casts in a row we got a fish. So strong it rips the fish in half. Oh, I tell you what setup I was wholly unprepared for uh, is tarpon fishing. I'm, I did catch one. I managed to catch one tarpon uh, flip-flop, but it took over 10 minutes for me to get it in. So that that's one setup uh, I'm going to definitely want to put some time. And that was a regular tarpon. I don't even want to think how bad that would have been if it was a trophy or unique tarpon.
I'm going to try to get Josh to play this game. I'll see if maybe he'd even be willing to download it for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to switch to the other spot here. It looks like we, uh, we pulled out most of the fish from that side. See, I've never got one of the Oregon red, red band trout. Have not caught one of those yet. I wonder if they're, they look small, 1.28 pound. Sounds like they're smaller, so I'd probably need a smaller lure for that. Oh, dude, some of the fights in this game go an insane amount of time. Yeah, no, I had to keep going. It was a 23 pound tarpon. It was a decent sized fish for what I'm able to catch right now. Like, that was by far the largest fish I've caught in the game. Might switch up the lure a bit here. Ah. Too soon. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of information that you have to sift through in this game. I was lucky that for fishing locations and stuff, I found the, the two guys on YouTube that really did this lake really good. And there is more, uh, but Zabby and Charles Macro, those two YouTube channels, they did excellent things on this, this lake especially. And um, had some real good uh, tips and tricks and stuff. A lot of, you'd be surprised the amount of people that do you, YouTube videos on this game. It's really, that's really something how big the community is. All right, let me put this guy back on. Because I, I had some pretty good luck with this spoon earlier. I think if I'm right, it also goes the farthest. Yes, that goes more than 20 feet further because of its size. And look at that, something hit it on the way down. That's what we're talking about. This fish is acting little. Oh! Oh, low line tension. It went right at me and it threw the hook. That's crazy. I haven't had that I haven't had that happen at this lake yet. But the fish, when they, they start jumping like that, I have noticed that the line tension goes. So when they do that, I gotta really put the line tension. Oh, that's why. I wasn't uh, reeling in fast enough. I gotta make sure that the reeling is always at the correct speed. That's the problem is keeping that constant pressure on there. Sometimes it goes to a different setting. Like when you set the hook, the speed will automatically go up. See, like that. See, now we're at max. We're at max reeling speed and we shouldn't have another issue. I think this is another cutthroat. Nope. Nope. I think that's a bass. That's a that's a bass. Oh Trophy smallmouth. See that's a good fish right there. That's that's equivalent to how almost every walleye was. At Emerald Lake is that size.
I'm okay with catching the smallmouth when they're like that. Oh, I'm worried that this game is going to siphon a lot of money out of me. I, lo I lost him. Got it. I think it's a little cutthroat. Little cutthroat. Yeah, I know. Well, okay. So here's the one thing that I, I think I've I've bought that uh, I probably shouldn't have. There was only one thing that I bought that was shiny, that was any amount of money that I shouldn't have, and that was like a, a kayak. I wanted to try the kayak fishing out because I thought that was. A really cool concept. And that was like $10. So that's the only thing I feel like I've actually wasted money on. The only thing that costs a lot... I need to get this up into the air. You don't want it dragging totally on the ground. Having it low is nice, but dragging on the ground, not so much. Um... The big thing is buying the licenses because, like, every day you go fishing, like, there's, like, they're, like, day licenses at each of the fishing locations. And then there's travel. There's travel costs associated with getting to all the different lakes, which is absolute bullshit. And uh, it's crazy how expensive it is in in-game currency just to go around and do the fishing. So the way that you cut back on that is that you buy um, premium permanent fishing licenses. Let's say you're going to be at a lake, you know you're going to be at a lake for a long time. Well, you can buy a premium license. And, like, the one for the walleye lake was $5. It was $5. US dollars. So that wasn't too bad, but, like, I'm only imagining how expensive it's going to get because, like, I think the one for this lake is, like, $10. Or, or for uh, for the Everglades. It's $10 for the Everglades. I don't think it's that much here. But, like, I, I'm planning to strategically buy them along the way. Like, every 10 or 15 levels, I'm going to buy a new... I think every 10 levels, I'm going to buy... A new whatever the best, whatever the best grind lake is for being able to get the most money and XP. So Saint Saint Croix coming up. Oh shit. Saint Croix coming up at level thirty is my next target. So I'm level twenty three right now. Damn. They just shut right down. We were doing so good. Alright, let me get something different on here. Or, um, let's take it easy for a minute. How about we take it easy for a minute? Let's give this another shot. So we got we have the mayflies with a two aught hook on there. I have had really good luck here with the mayflies. 
But I think I have I have caught more fish overall on the spinner and in the spoons. Cause since I came here this time, it looks like I've probably caught twelve. I've caught twelve fish on the mayflies. On on this trip, this this first day. We're still in day one of three. I spent all the money because if you buy things uh, three days at a time, it's generally cheaper, especially for the licenses, you get a discount. And then you pay for your initial travel to get to the lake, and then every additional day is less. So I try to make sure if I'm going to a location um, that's not one of the basic lakes, I'm, I'm trying to go for at least three days. I'm trying to make sure I have the money to go for three days so that I can maximize that amount of money uh, and the return on it. Um, I got another spot we can try for bobbers. I just have to remember where it is. Oh, uh, you know what? I think it is from here. So we start here, and we got to go over to this next little area over here. Let's give this a shot, guys. Yeah, we're going right here. Yeah, then there's that. Let's give that a shot. This is another spot that was mentioned. I think this is where I had the best luck with the, uh, the bobber, actually. So flip flop, what else is new? You've been having fun in uh, Warframe. Is your friend liking it? Because I remember you said you you got your friend to play it again. Come on. Thought we had a little hit. Yeah, are they having a good time just having some schedule conflict so he doesn't work and I do? Since he doesn't work and I do. Gotcha. Well, dang it. Ooh, let's try around. I think around 110 feet was where the guy was saying it was a sweet spot. Let's, let's leave it there for a few minutes. Because now we're, we're really close to that, that spot. That, was a, that looked like an actual hit.
Now, what I should have on is the bobber specifically for fishing at night. Let's let's play around with that. I'm gonna switch the bobber out. What time is it? Eight forty-one. Should we do that event? That'd be my first ever event that I've been in. How long is it? Let's see. It's only 45 minutes. And that start it starts in 18 minutes. Oh my god, look at everybody here. That's all right. That's pretty cool, guys. Look at that shit. That's pretty neat. We need to keep an eye on the time. Yeah, I want to do it. I've got I've got the bait that I need. I'm already here. I don't have to, there's no travel things. I hope it doesn't kick me out afterwards. That's the only thing. If it does, I've made a decent amount of money. I just, I haven't made back all the money that I wanted to. Like, I haven't made back enough to cover, cover three days. Three days travel, license costs, and um, equipment degradation. Because you got to uh, pay to repair the equipment, too. Well, we've been on the low end of the action here. What the hell? Let's give this a go. See, I, I do like this spoon because I do get that extra casting distance out of it. I think it had to go over a little ridge out there. That's why it acted a little weird just then. That The one thing this game is missing that would make this game even better is if they had like a fish cam. Where, like, you can look at it from, like, the fish's point of view in the water. You know, you see the fish, the fish, how he's hooked onto the line and everything. That'd be a real cool thing. Alright, there's nothing at this spot. We're gonna head back to the other location. We're gonna switch back to our other lure, I think.
Wait. Oh, here's my spot. Look at this. I caught a unique trout there. There. Okay, now we're back. We're back where we want to be. Really? I wonder if it's not a fish, but there's like, there's stuff in the water that it's getting caught on. That's the other thing I was thinking too. See that? I wonder if there's a gunk, because I've gotten... I've had a few hang-ups there several times tonight. So here's the question. Will I get disqualified for having the other poles equipped? I don't want to lose all my equipment if it all of a sudden unequips everything. That would piss me off if I if I went into the comp temp competition and de-equipped all of my gear that was not regulation. And then... Um, And then my backpack wasn't big enough to hold all that gear. Well, we're going to test it out. I think we've gotten to that time of the night where it's uh, we're past the peak. Whoa! All right, this will probably be the last fish we're able to get. The way he's fighting. Oh yeah. This is good though. That fish is dragging us. Look at that fish drag us! Oh my god! Look at that boy go. Oh! That's the one we wanted. Also, I think I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to fast forward the time. So that we can clear. I want to clear out the fish cabin so we have room for the fish during the tournament. If we're even going to catch any with the stupid... Uh, jig. This is this is a big fish. This is an obscenely large fish. This is like a this is a unique brown trout or something right here. Or a bass. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. That almost looks like a... No, that's a trout. That's a big trout. That's a big trout we got coming in. Look at him go back out. Look at that son of a bitch. We had him up to 30 feet, and now he's back out to 83. Oh, my 
god. This might be a historic brown trout. Oh! Yeah. <gasps> Woo! That's a big boy right there. That's the kind we want to catch. That's the biggest trophy brown trout I got tonight for sure. All right, so now, so we can get ready for the uh, the tournament. We're going to forward time till then. Because that means we got all that time, too. That's a nice daily net of uh, cash for one day's fishing. All right, I'll be right back, guys. And then we're going to go straight into that event. Ba 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 ba. Ba da da da. Flip flop, you still wouldn't leave, bud. All right, so we go to sport. says I'm not ready. Why?
I bet you it won't let me in because I've got more equipped than I'm supposed to. No, not all it's saying is ready, is not ready, is ready. Okay. I feel like I got some bonus money somewhere along the way. KOP speeding KOP Mike is in here. He has not readied up yet. Look at how many level 80s, my god. There's a good chance we're going to catch nothing. Oh! Oh my gosh! Are we actually getting a fish? Is it actually a trout? I'd be happy to get one trout on the board. <laughs> oh, that's a bass. That's a bat. Stupid bass. It's a trophy bass. But that's not what we want.
Well, that looks a little bit more promising. Uh, that, that looks like a trout. That's a trout. Was well, just a tiny little, tiny little cutthroat. But good news is we can, in fact, catch trout on the shad. So I'm very happy about that. Because I think it said the jig head with um, soft baits. And the shad is a soft bait. Three inch shad. That's a pretty good size uh, soft shad. No, the cutthroats don't count. Jig heads and soft jig heads and soft baits. Oh shit. Oh, that, that felt, that, that looks like a bigger trout. I think we might have lucked out. That, that looks like a brown trout. It looks like a nice brown trout. It's like I want him to come in. I want to catch him, but I also want him to stay out there longer. Cause then the longer, the longer it takes me to bring him in, the bigger it means this fish is. I would love me a unique brown trout right about now. Yes! Alright, that's a solid start. However, if that one... Did, no, that dude, that was before. Well... I wonder if they don't show the so... I wonder if they don't show the size of the fish people are catching until the end. Like that person that just caught a fish here at the lake. I heard the whistle blow, so I it, it sounds like I'm in the competition. Cer certainly didn't have trouble getting a big fish on the shad, so we're happy about that. What was that? What the heck? He, he left like right out of the water after that thing. That was nuts.
All right, all right, all right. Good, good, good. We like to see this. I think this is another, I think it's another brown trout. Regardless of how we do in the competition, we're actually pulling out some nice fish. So we're getting some XP and some, some, some cash no matter what. I think that's a brown trout. I guess the idea is you put your best gear on for the tournament so you don't have to worry about fighting them like this. I think that's probably the one thing I'm doing wrong. Yeah, these guys are these guys are when, when they when they hook something they're just they're just dragging it right in. Def, definitely that has to be the way they do it. In order to really pound these bigger fish for the tournament. Look at this one go though. Oh man, the, the fish looks big. Come on, buddy, come back. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. I mean, this is definitely the type of fish we're talking about. It's just taking a hell of a long time to get him in. That's... Ah, that's definitely a brown trout. Yeah, come on in. Oh! Oh, it's the historic brown trout. Oh, I wonder if they count. If they do, then that's that's a big fish. See, I, I don't know what counts. Awesome. I think this one's much smaller. Oh, yeah. That's just a bass. Well, that's the biggest historic brown trout I've ever caught.
The entry view is 777, huh? Another small mouth. I think it's a small mouth or like a trophy small mouth or something. Oh, uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Well, that's that's a trout. Oh, it's not. Boy, he look she look like one though. It's a nice small mouth though. All right, that was a neat little reward. Oh my! If that guy is in here in my tournament, my uh, my historic trout was still bigger. See, there's it. He's one of the level eighties. I think mine was still bigger. I wonder if you have to keep him in your damn net, though. See, I might have blown it by, by releasing it. I wonder if I lost the tournament because I released it. I should, I should probably keep them until after the tournament's over, right? Just to make sure. That was stupid. I bet you I lost it. That is another bass, guys. Rule sets. Total fish count? Oh, so it's not even biggest fish. That sucks. So there you go. That's why I'm going to lose this. Um... I'm spending all this time fighting the big fish. People that are just getting the fish on the line are just yanking these things in.
I don't have very many keepers right now. I, that might be a rainbow. Wait, Trophy Oregon Red Band, really? Did those count? Oh, good. Those actually counted. I'm not I can't be possibly using the right the right bait for these guys. That's why I'm I'm hitting the bass most of the time. Oh, okay. This this is definitely more promising. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass again, damn it. Damn. I like trophy bass, but you know what? Not in the middle of a tournament. If I'm even in a tournament, I might have gotten disqualified right away. Who the hell knows? I don't know how these things work. I knew I couldn't unequip the rest of my gear. That would have that would have been stupid. Oh, cool. All right, let's try the other spot that I know. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go try my spot for, um, for rainbow trout. This is the spot for brown trout.
Come on. Got to get a few more. I at least got to put up a showing. Jesus. I think I've got, what, two fish that count? I was really excited when I caught that big trout. Because, like, I thought I thought it was going to be biggest... thought it was going to be biggest, uh, biggest fish caught. Because I definitely... I think I definitely had a shot at it if that was going to be the case. All right, this is the spot I discovered that had the unique rainbow trout. So let's hope there's a couple more hiding around, huh? Oh! Wait a minute, we may have something here. I don't, I don't think that's a bass. Ah, it's the wrong color for a bass, I think. I think it's a rainbow. I think it's rainbow trout. Oh my goodness. It's big, whatever it is. Look at that son of a gun go. If it's another unique rainbow, then this spot, this spot's the most effective uh, place for them in the entire league. I'm ready to see stupid numbers of trout caught. There's definitely going to be people that were able to average one trout a minute, right? And I'm going to have like five fish caught and they're going to have like 40. Another unique rainbow. I 
And I caught that on the shad too, so that that's an interesting thing. <laughs> Look at the size of that bastard. Trophy cutthroat just sitting right there. God, I wish the cutthroats counted. If nothing else, I am I'm doing good on making XB and leveling up tonight. It's funny, I thought I was already level 23, and then I was going for 24, like, uh, last time already, but now I, I just got 23 today. Twelve minutes left. Ah. As nice as that is, that's not what we want. Good. Whatever it is, it's big. That's that that's a trout. Ah oh trophy rainbow. Jeez. I like my new spot here.
kind of a change of scenery. I was sticking in that one spot for a long time. That looks like a brown trout. Brown trout, it's a keeper. Jeez. A lot of trophy rainbow trouts getting pulled out right now. I want to try this spot with a bobber. Oh, like right there. 60 feet. So 60 feet out, we had something bite just, just straight out there. And I think I've caught, I've caught two fish like that now. Alright, be a good one. Be like a regular rainbow trout or like a regular brown trout just so I can kind of haul your ass right in. Oh, there he goes. Look at him go. I hope I can get this one in before the damn tournament ends. That's all I know. Boy, I don't know if I if I will. I'm actually really concerned. Cuz he could he's going to run right back out there. Right? He's not coming in yet. Come on. No. See, there he goes. Trophy brown trout. Very nice catch. A 
Have I only caught like one bass over here since I got over here? I feel like I haven't caught that many bass. Honestly, this lure for these fish here, it, it's it's doing immensely better than I thought it would. That's a bass. Of course, I had to say it. I had to jinx myself. Let's see if I can get one more. We got like two and a half minutes left. That was a tiny, tiny one. And now I'm catching nothing but smallmouth over here because I couldn't couldn't keep my mouth shut. Oh, I'm not I'm not getting this boy in. Are you kidding me? That almost broke the pole. That was not worth it. I just lost all that money and more for the amount of durability I just lost. Oh, are you kidding me? They don't even tell you what place that you finish. Wait. KOP Speedy K. Well, damn it. We almost just broke our pole doing that. That's no good. Well, all right, I got to look at it, and then I bring it in. I want to count up how many fish we had. So, of course, the two the two guys that hosted the competition had the top two scores. So they, they didn't have to give out, basically, they didn't have to give out any prizes that way.
One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really, that few fish, huh? I just lost so much money almost breaking that pole. I know I did. Like a ridiculous amount. Several fish worth. Should I switch back to the other lure? That's the big question, and I think I should. Because we were, we were doing better on the spinner with the, with the trout, I think. Overall, we caught some nice trophy fish. Yeah, it was crazy how that pole that pole almost cracked. I could I was trying to control it so that it didn't go way up. Unique Oregon red band. We're loving that. Nice. This baby's pulling us. Yeah, I don't know if I have any desire to change my setup anymore. I mean, we're, we're kind of hitting some big fish over here. Yeah, look at that. I really I really should put a marker over there. Regular brown trout? Regular brown trout. My goodness. You know why we're at like a peak time of day, I bet now.
Trophy Bass. I think I can remember that. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the, um, the bobber set up out, I think. I wanna whip it out right there.
All right, nothing. We're heading back. I think it's that patch of stuff in the water right there, guys. I think that's all that is. Because I have that happen all the time. Damn it. Getting that low frame rate again. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's like almost constant right now. What the, heck? what the hell? Let's get one more good fish. Come on, let me get one more good fish and then we'll probably call it a night. There we go. Oh, I don't think it's too big. No. It's not pulling. It's a bass. It's a stupid bass again. Hopefully it's at least a trophy, huh? Good. We'll deal with the trophy bass. Alright, well at least we ended on a trophy fish. I think that's all for tonight, guys. Uh, at least we were able to participate in our first competition, so that was cool. I feel like I ended up doing better than I could have. Uh, I, I needed a better setup. I needed to be able to get the fish in quicker. I was spending way too much time fighting them. Um, but uh, at any rate, 
we're going to probably stick around here for a while. We may do, may end up doing another episode here. Um, it really depends. I may go back to fishing walleye and just like really try and like catch the hell out of those things. And, uh, that, that may be what I end up doing. It depends if I, if I'm in the mood for it or not. After these three days are up here, I might go pick three days or at least two days at the walleye lake. Cause at least the, the travel to the walleye lake is not nearly as expensive. And I think we do make the most money there, but, uh, at any rate, uh, that's it for now. Everybody have a good night. Thanks again. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.